Okay, now we're speaking about Asa, the son of Abijah. And he, it says he did what was good and right in the eyes of Jehovah's God. And he, he took away the altars of the strange gods in the high places and break down the images and cut down the groves. So they were still doing that stuff in, the, in, the, in Judah, in the high places. But he cut them all down. And he commanded the Judah to seek Jehovah, their God of their fathers, and to do the law and the commandment. And he took away out of all the cities of Judah the high places and the images. And the kingdom was quiet before him. See, he got peace and quiet. And he built the fenced cities of Judah, Judah, for the land had rest and had no more war in those years because Jehovah had given him rest. See, this is the key to your peace. Therefore he said unto Judah, Let us build these cities and make about them walls, towers, gates, because we have sought God and he hath given us rest on every side. And they built and they uh, prospered. And... Um, what happened was uh, Zara, the Ethiopian, came against Jerusalem with a host of a thousand thousand, that was a million, and three hundred chariots, and came to Marasha, and Asa went out against them, and he set the battle in array in the valley of uh, Zephatha and Mara. Marisha. And Asa cried unto Jehovah his God and said, Lord, it is nothing with thee to help, whether with many or with those that have no power. Help us, O Lord of God, for we rest on thee. He was outnumbered terribly. But he says, hey, with God, the num numbers don't mean anything with you. We know that. Please help us. For you are our God. Not let, do, not let these, do not let man prevail against us. And Asa and, and the people that were with him pursued them unto Gerar, and the Ethiopians were overthrown, and they could not recover themselves, for they were destroyed before Jehovah. See, when when um, uh, uh, Abijah or uh, Asa was with Jehovah, God defended them, no matter how few they were. And they smote all the cities around Gerar, and, no, and, and for the fear of Jehovah came up upon them. And they spoiled all the cities, and there was exceedingly much spoil in them. And they smote the tents of the cattle and carried sheep and camels in abundance and returned to Jerusalem. And all the kingdoms, they feared the, the, the kingdom of Judah. So they had peace among all their neighbors too, because they were afraid. They knew they feared God. 